For some people, sulfur can build up faster than their system can process it. Foods that are otherwise healthy can still be foods with high sulfur, which can start triggering uncomfortable symptoms in these people. And I see this pattern regularly in my work with clients who feel absolutely miserable, even when they're eating what would normally be considered a very balanced, healthy diet with lots of nutrition because a lot of our healthy foods are actually high sulfur. So in our GI focused dietitian practice, we use the low sulfur diet as a temporary trial. It is not a forever way of eating. So this is not about avoiding all the foods with sulfur or following a restrictive low sulfur diet long term. The goal is not restriction, it's getting information. A short trial can help us understand whether the overall load from foods high in sulfur may be contributing to symptoms while also giving us clues about what actually needs to be addressed underneath. 